Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Clef Prof's Advent Calendar. So in yesterday's video, we built this underwater family, got this kind of family scene where they're all kind of gathered around the Christmas tree, got the TV on, Lots of different kind of things. If you missed it, of course, go check out yesterday's video. But something that occurred to me once I was editing it was that we forgot to connect it up to the path. So let's go do that now. And just like that, we are done. But now what we've got to do is we've got to find out what we're building today. So let's push these two buttons like that. And we are going to be building... Oh, a elf and but make it functional okay so my immediate thought is being over here by santa's sleigh would make sense but what is the function of an elf do you know what is the function of an elf so a bit of googling later and i found out that the function of an elf is just to help Santa make lots of presents. But I also found out that elves sing while they work. So what I'm thinking is right here, going to build a giant elf and it's going to have some note blocks inside that allow it to play a Christmas tune. And then maybe it'll have its hand out and out of the hand will come a load of presents. So I'm going to gather some blocks that I think would be helpful and see what I can come up with. And there we have an elf. Now, what I've done is I've made a little hat and things and I've made it just a little bit 3D. And in his left arm, I've got a dropper and a little button here. And I've used a little bit of armor stand trickery that we did like with the carol singers, uh, just to kind of cover up the side of the dropper. But now if we press this, you can see that a present drops out like that. But what um, what I was planning to do, uh, barrier blocks, what I was planning to do was I was planning on on the inside, maybe of the head, making a Christmas tune. But I think what I'm actually going to do is do that under here. So I've got to learn how note blocks work and clear out an area and make a little note block tune. I've cleared out an area and I've got a resource pack that allows me to select the notes. For instance, I know that the first note, and I did have to look this up because it's been quite a while since I did music, is E. So we can have something a bit like that. But then I know that the material, um, well, the instrument changes based on the material. And again, I had to look this up on the Minecraft wiki. And I think it'd be quite cool to have chimes. A bit like that. And yeah, I've got the uh, notes up 
it again. It has been a while since I've done GCSE music, but I didn't even do GCSE music. I did music in secondary school, which was many, many years ago. So yeah, this is my very basic musical knowledge. I can kind of turn a note into a letter, but the timing could be horrendous. So if you're in the musical profession, then I'm sorry. We are making progress. I've decided that every note should be four ticks apart. So what we've got so far is we've got... Which certainly sounds a lot like Jingle Bells. But now we've got to try and do the rest. I probably am only going to do the chorus of Jingle Bells. I don't want this to be too complicated and too big. But yeah, I will add in the rest and see where we go. Okay, let's have a listen to this. I've just realized that we've got two different octaves here, so it may um, it may start to sound really bad, but let's have a listen. Uh, that's not that bad. That could be really, really wrong, but to my untrained ears, that sounds okay. Let's have another listen. I think the G is wrong. Doesn't the G need to be lower? If so, does that mean we need to make everything higher? I think I'll try that and see how it sounds. Okay, so I have moved everything except the G up one octave. Let's have a listen to how this sounds. Yeah, I don't think that sounds right. I could be mistaken. I'll have to have a few more listens and see if it sounds right. Okay, a fair amount of tweaking and trying to make this sound good. And I think we have it. So if I just push this button. We have jingle bells! So I can now come out of there, seal that up, just put a bit of snow on top. And now we have a fully functional elf. Woohoo! And if we want a present from the elf, we can come up here, push the button, and the present will get dropped onto the floor. Perfect. But I think that is going to do it for today. I've had to teach myself note blocks, which I've never done before, as was probably obvious. Again, apologies to anyone with any kind of musical knowledge out there. Yeah, I did my best. Um, I've seen that it snowed on the elf, so I'll have to cover all of that up. But yeah, that is going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, then be sure to like and subscribe. And you can find a playlist for all of these videos, all of this advent calendar 
in a link in the description and on the end screen. That's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!